Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. In this video, we're going to touch base on how to essentially diagnose whether you've got a bad coil or a bad spark plug. And this will be uh, demonstrated on a 4.4 LR3. This will be uh, 05 to 09. The same application basically is going to be the same for the Sport, the Supercharged Sport. And the basis of it will also apply to the full-size Range Rover. Any of the uh, 06 to 09s with the 4.2 or the 4.4. Now essentially with the bond what happens is check engine light comes on, you get in, you check the codes, and you're getting misfire codes. Now there's a number of reasons why you can have a misfire code. We're not going to touch on all of that right now, but what we are going to concentrate on the most common factor is usually either a bad coil or a spark plug has failed. And essentially what you're going to need to check it out, because we don't we want to keep this as, as little complicated as possible is one obviously you're going to need ratchet quarter drive with a six millimeter socket that's going to take the top engine cover off a low voltage uh, uh, test light this unit is used to not only check for power and grounds at the 12 volt level but also at the 5 volt level so that'll be versatile we're going to need that uh, a pair of pliers this style I seem to favor for pulling the two relays out of the relay box and we'll show you why we're going to do that and then I like to keep around a long straight blade screwdriver if I have a problem getting the connector off of the coil you can use this to lift the tab up just a bit and enough to get that coil off and then we have an old school momentary switch which we're going to use to jump the starter relay to crank the engine over this is if you're working alone and you don't have a helper to be able to turn the key for you so where essentially we're going to start is we've taken the engine cover off I've removed the popped off the plastic cover that covers the coils and the spark plugs this is a, an 06 LR3 with a 4.4 and I've also removed the cover off of the relay and fuse box alright so with the cover off on this fuse box it's actually going to show us what relays we need to pull and we show that the second one down on the left hand side is your fuel pump relay and then down to the bottom and the corner in the left side is your starter motor relay we're going to pull both of those relays and the reason being and this is really only necessary if you don't have a helper and you're going to do this alone you do want to pull the fuel pump relay because while you're cranking this over to make a couple of your little tests you want to make sure you're not loading the cylinders up with fuel because you're going to be cutting off the ignition so now that we have both of it out we're going to take our momentary switch you can get these in basically any automotive center that sells basic tools this is a real old school I've had this one dating all the way back to the 70s and it still works and we base essentially every now and then I got to replace the ends on them and you can just put a flat spade mail connector on those now on the starter motor relay you have three four, four pins three pins all face the same direction one is perpendicular so what we're going to do is insert one pin in the perpendicular connector and then in the pin directly opposite that and what that'll do is bypass the starter relay so you can essentially crank the engine while you're hitting the button and again we've got the fuel pump relay out so that we don't end up flooding the cylinders out now we're going to quickly explain about this test light and again this is also available through most of your tool suppliers and you can buy them online as well and it gets hooked up to both a positive and a negative connection convenient that the battery is right here there we go so what you'll see is a red indicator light on the top and that's just showing us that we're hooked up to a power and a ground source down below are your indicator lights for testing so touch a powered 12 volt system or even a 5 volt that red light will light if you touch a ground the lights going to be green so this is very handy for checking both grounds and power right at the same source and what we're going to do now is we're going to move over to uh, cylinder number two where we've taken the plastic cover off and then we're just going to show you some basic tests that you can do to test this coil all right, so at this point we have, I have the turn the key on, ignition key is on, but we have the fuel pump relay out, so we're not gonna load the cylinders up. We bypass the relay for the starter motor, 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to assume we've gotten a misfire code for cylinder number two, which is the front cylinder driver's side. So the first thing we're going to do, and I'll explain about that screwdriver. Sometimes, especially after the connectors here have been on for quite some time, you'll push this back tab, but the connector won't fully raise up. So I take the little screwdriver and I get down under the tab and lift it, and then I can slide that right off. And it may stick, they'll st be a little sticky, so you may need to wiggle it a bit, but you'll get it out. Now, you have four wires going to this, and here you have, essentially, you have a red wire, a black wire, green and white, and a yellow and black. With the key on, before we go any further, we want to make sure that we're getting power to this coil. So we're going to put our little test light in there, you'll see the red light indicator is on so we have power that's pin one then we're going to go over to the black wire which is the third one over we're going to see if we have ground so we have ground so there's a good indication our wiring our connector our plug all that's still good you have two remaining wires one is the green and white and one the yellow and black the green and white goes to all of these sensor and feeds back into the uh, engine control module so the signal wire in this case should be the yellow and black so what we're going to do is we're going to put our tester in that pin hold the two together and then we're going to hit our button to crank the engine over and we should see a pulsating light at the bottom of our tester All right, so hopefully you can see that because it's very dim on this, but you can see a pulsating green light, which is telling you that the PCM is grounding the system. So what we've essentially done is we've checked all four circuits that feed this ignition coil. So we know that we either have a problem, if it is in the ignition, we know we have a problem with either the coil or the spark plug. So very simply at this point, we're going to pull the coil out and put a spark plug in there and ground the spark plug. If we crank it and we get spark, then we want to look at the spark plug and see what kind of condition that's in. All right, so with an eight millimeter socket and ratchet, we've taken the one bolt that holds the coil. We've set the coil with a new spark plug just for demonstration purposes, grounding out. You can ground it on the fuel rail. It's not gonna hurt it because that continues on to ground. Uh, if you have a spark plug tester, that works just as well. But if we move in close, and we see the end of that plug, you can actually see that the spark. So that's telling us that our coil is good. So at this point then you're going to pull the spark plug out. And what I'll show you, and here's a couple different plugs from different vehicles. We can see this one black and sooty on one side and sort of clean on the other that's a good indication that the vehicle's running rich or that the spark plug itself is cold fouled I would replace that plug now here's a good running plug we've got a light tan tint to the porcelain on the bottom if you see more of an orange tint or possibly green if you're using a green coolant which shouldn't be in this vehicle but if you see more orange to it there's a possibility you're getting coolant in there you can use a spark plug to sort of read the situation that's developing in there and why you would have a misfire in that cylinder so at this point if you've pulled also pull the spark plug and you check spark then this is not the cause of your misfire you need to be looking at either fuel injection or possible compression test see if you got low compression and there's other things that can involve with that but for testing the coil and the ignition this would apply to LR3 LR4 full-size sport basically any of these 06 to 09 full-size LR3 in sport that has the 4.4 and the 4.2 engine so if you should come across where you find you need an ignition coil or a set of plugs for your vehicle just give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen at 1-800-533-2210 thanks for watching